Welcome to Code Salad. Today I want to introduce you to my favorite API testing tool, Insomnia. It'll probably be better than whatever else you're using right now. Postman, your own code, your browser, whatever it might be. If you're not using Insomnia, I'm going to show you why I like it. Let's start. I'm gonna go over to my desktop and we'll see now I am in Insomnia. It's a very simple program. Uh, you organize your API calls by collections. If you're a developer like me, you're gonna have a ton of API calls that you're testing all the time, all kinds. Insomnia probably handles all of it and more. So just to show you what it does right out of the box, um, I have just an example collection here of open APIs. And I have one example request in here, um, a get request specifically to JSON placeholder um, website that gives me a basic response back. And I'm going to send a get request and you'll see the response on the right hand side. You'll see it's a 200. You'll see how long it took. I can go over to see all the headers that were sent with it. I could go and see the cookies potentially and the timeline of the entire request. Now. Um, as long as you follow that, um, I'm going to go ahead and build my own post request now by creating a new HTTP request just to show you how it's done. You choose your method at the top and uh, I'm going to paste in something I had copied, httpbin.org slash post, which is just something that will echo back basically what I send it. Um, so I'm going to send it a JSON request here with uh, foo bar and essentially this should just come back to me with some data about my request, right? I had some headers and my data, but essentially all I'm showing you is that it made a successful post request here. And so now I have two requests in my collection. I can rename this to be whatever, uh, example post request. And from this point, you can see get request, post request, pretty simple. Um, you know, this is the bare bones of an API testing tool. So just to show you a few more features of what it can do, as far as JSON bodies, you can send more than just JSON. You can send XML, YAML, multi-part forms, entire GraphQL queries, and more. Uh, you can view kind of different views depending on, you know, what you choose. It'll essentially switch the body and give you a neat way to kind of build your query and you can easily build the headers here ultimately and if you want to add docs to your request you can choose to do so. Um, for each request you can uh, duplicate them, rename them, obviously delete them. You can pin the request in the collection if you have a whole bunch of them. And best of all, I think these two are the coolest for me is that it generates the code for you in pretty much any language that you want. So if you just want to use it in your terminal, you can copy this curl request and you'll get this in your terminal. It'll work straight out of the box. But if you want it in Node.js, like what I do mostly, you can switch to Node.js. And not only does it do Node.js, but you can choose the library you're using. So if I'm using fetch and not HTTP, I can go over to fetch and copy whatever I need from this. It is super handy. Uh, so aside from just creating these requests, copying the request to, you know, maybe your code editor or your terminal, um, it does a little bit more than that. Uh, Insomnia has Git syncing capabilities, as you see in the bottom left here. You can set up a Git sync to sync right with your GitHub, GitLab, or any Git connection that you might have. So you can actually track updates to your API collections over time. Um, you can log into Insomnia and if you have a team that you work on, it has a capability to share API requests amongst you and your team. It's super slick. I've actually used that myself. It's a super awesome feature. Uh, by the way, this is totally unbiased. Like I just really like Insomnia, super awesome tool. Um, what I'm showing you here is uh, one extra feature, you can create environments and sub environments for your collection. So if your API requests use a series of shared values or shared endpoints, you can actually create that right here in your environment and then use them in your requests. I'm not going to show that because that's a little advanced, but um, likewise, you can add cookies to your requests to simulate browser capabilities and whatnot. Um, and that's essentially all Insomnia is. Um, I'm gonna show one more feature in a moment, but in general, I think the interface is super clean. 
Um, it starts up super fast, unlike Postman in my experience, and in general, I've just over time really loved, uh, really loved the the software. Like oh, it just gotten better and better, and I just haven't seen that um, out of most tools. And for API testing, you really want it to be as straightforward as possible. The last thing I want to show you is that you can actually import a document, a YAML document, as a API specification. And here is an example of that. If you've ever used Swagger, which if you're a developer, you might have come across this a ton of times. Swagger is essentially an API spec that it describes how an API works visually. You can upload the entire YAML file that determines that Swagger straight into Insomnia and grab requests from here and port it into this debugger that Insomnia has that I just showed you to test all of these various things in the spec. So you can test entire suites of APIs all at once if you needed to. So whether you're a developer who needs to create requests and then transfer them to your code editor, or you're someone just testing APIs to make sure they work, Insomnia will handle it all. Um, there's even multiple projects that you can have aside from the collections and documents, you can have projects of collections and documents it gets crazy. Uh, Insomnia kind of handles all things API related. Um, if you've used it, let me know how you like it. If you, um, you know, download it now, let me know how you like it. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching. I don't really have anything else to say. If you want a more in-depth review of Insomnia, I'm happy to give it to you. Um, otherwise, uh, thanks for watching and have a good one.